There comes a time in technology when something truly great is built, which completely changes the way in which people interact with technology, the internet, etc. And when OpenAI announced Codex, it was precisely one of those moments. Hey guys, I'm Smitha and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things machine learning and AI related. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what exactly is Codex and why is it such a big deal? How is it going to revolutionize the way that software developers code and also how we interact with technology? Before we get started, be sure to hit subscribe as that helps me out a lot in creating amazing content like this. So what exactly is Codex? Codex is an AI system which is able to convert natural language text into code. It is essentially every software developer's dream to issue commands like build me a product website which lists all the different products and have that be automatically converted into code and hence creating a website for you. That seems like something from the future and that is the reason why everyone is so amazed by this. So how was Codex created? Codex was created by OpenAI and OpenAI is a massive research company within machine learning and artificial intelligence, which has released a bunch of amazing APIs such as GPT-3. And GPT-3 is essentially a language model which uses deep learning in order to create human-like text. And you might be wondering what is the link between GPT-3 and Codex? So OpenAI actually realized that a lot of developers were using the functionality of GPT-3 in order to create these machine learning models which are which were able to generate code from text. So this was a massively popular idea of using GPT-3. And that is why OpenAI has actually decided to launch this type of feature as its own. And that's why we have Codex. To build something like Codex, the training data involved includes things like natural language and also billions of lines of code taken from GitHub and also other publicly available sources. The programming language that Codex is most capable of writing in is Python, but it's also really good in JavaScript, Go, Perl, PHP, Ruby, Swift, and TypeScript, and also even Shell. So that's, a, that's about 11 different programming languages that Codex can actually code in. Let's take a look at a short demo of what Codex is capable of. So in this demo, Codex is actually being used in order to create a space game. Starting off with copying the address of this rocket image and then actually pasting it onto Codex. Notice how uh, Codex automatically creates a variable called rocket ship and assigns that file, that image of the rocket ship to that variable. Even with a command like make it be smallish, which is absolutely so vague, but uh, Codex still manages to actually understand what, what, understand what the user is saying by make it be smallish and is able to actually change the width and height of the rocket ship to a much smaller size, as you guys can see by the code right here. So right here, animate the rocket ship horizontally, bouncing off the left and right walls. Now, obviously this is not super easy code or logic to program, but Codex is absolutely able to understand uh, what exactly the user means. Okay, so this is a pretty interesting command. When the rocket is clicked, temporarily display some text saying firing thrusters in white on the current location and temporarily speed up by four times for a quarter of a second. Now, those are a lot of commands in one sentence, and let's see what Codex does. Pretty good, it has managed to execute all of those commands. Uh, just like before how the rocket ship was added, similarly, an image of an asteroid is also being added. Let's, let's skip to the end of the game so you guys get a kind of an idea of how this game is actually being played. So this is the game actually being played where you're supposed to basically escape the asteroids and avoid collision. So as you can see, although this is a very simple game, but to explain the game logic in sentences, that still takes up 
quite a lot of problem solving and obviously breaking down such a game into uh, simple commands for Codex to actually comprehend uh, what we are saying and then hence turning that into code. I think it's absolutely amazing that something like this is possible with uh, Codex and we can only imagine what many other developers and other people are going to be creating with something like Codex. I think we can definitely expect to see a lot more cool and interesting things. And of course, very useful solutions come out uh, with something like Codex because now, even if you don't know how to code, you can use a technology like Codex or something similar, which is able to translate, uh, which is able to transform commands in text into code and also able to understand the logic behind what you're asking and transform that into code. I think that's an absolutely big thing. And we can definitely expect to see a lot more people who don't know how to code get involved and actually create really amazing things. If you guys wanna watch the full demo of uh, how this game is built from start to finish and what sort of instructions were actually being used. I'm gonna leave a link for this demo in the description box below so you guys can actually check that out. So after watching this incredible demo, I'm sure a lot of you guys are interested in trying out Codex. So you can do that on the actual website. Uh, there is actually a wait list. So OpenAI is inviting businesses and also developers to try out Codex. So you can get a chance to try out Codex by actually joining the waitlist right here on their website. Just by looking at how Codex has been used to build a simple game like this, just with a bunch of commands written in plain English, it's absolutely amazing to imagine what sort of things we can actually expect from Codex. When something like this is actually released, people often wonder, is this the end of software developers? Do we even need software developers anymore? And the answer to that is absolutely we do. This is simply a tool to make the job of software developers much more easier and also to actually make them focus on the most important aspect of software development, which is breaking down problems into much simpler aspects and problem solving. And Codex definitely does not do that. You still need software developers who are extremely skilled at problem solving, who are able to break down these problems. And so Codex can help to actually solve those very, very simple problems which have been broken down. That's something that Codex can definitely do. One of the most amazing things about Codex is that with the current state of technology right now where only people who know how to code are able to actually communicate with programs and build different applications or websites or etc we can see a lot more people who don't know how to code use something like codex and still build amazing things with technology i honestly think that codex makes technology much more inclusive and that's a pretty big thing Coding is a way of communicating with technology and building amazing things. And it shouldn't just be limited to people who know how to code. It should be something that everyone has the chance and opportunity to experience and do. So Codex definitely enables that. The word Codex is also the name used for the historical ancestor of the modern book. And I think that's a really good indicator of what Codex actually stands for. It's the first of its kind, but it's definitely going to revolutionize the way that we interact with technology and we can definitely expect to see many more applications and many more AI-based applications which focus on text-to-code functionality just like this in the future. So guys, I hope this video was helpful in explaining what exactly is Codex and why is it such a big deal. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and hit like and comment down below what exactly you guys thought about the video and do you plan on using Codex in the future. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.